Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm just using your initials uh, BA, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And I'm going to listen to your integrated speaking practice test number one. Okay, so here we go. The reading passage and the speaking passage give examples of how advertising influences people's decisions. The reading passage first argues that... You want to say how advertising influences. Because it's singular, you have to make that S on the end and create an additional syllable there. So again, how advertising influences people's behavior. The reading passage first argues that advertising is effective since it continuously on TV, radio, and other media channels. You're still not giving me the main point, though. You, you, you want to get the main points before you go to your details, right? Let me listen to it again. Hold on. The reading passage and the speaking passage give examples of how advertising influences people's decisions. The reading passage first argues that... Ad I would say of how advertising influences people's political and economic decisions. That's what I would say there. And that exactly, not in any vague or unclear way, but that exactly explains the point of the reading and the listening passage. You want to make sure that when you're speaking about these ideas, you can show me you know what the main point is before you get to the details. Advertising is effective since it continuously on TV, radio, and other... Since it what? Let's go again. Since it continuously on TV... You want to say since it appears continuously on TV, so you're missing your verb in there. That will kill your grammar every time. You have to have a subject and a verb in the sentences that you say, or we cannot understand what you're trying to say. Radio and other media channels. Second, it shows how it changes people's opinions politically about certain candidates. The speaker in the speaking passage gives another example of a certain brand of tooth. So it's a little bit awkward how you did that transition there. Let's go back again. It changes people's opinions politically about certain candidates. Still on TV, radio, and other media channels. Second, it shows how it changes people's opinions politically about... Now, wait a minute. Second, no. What you just talked about, you just talked about the political effects of advertising by saying second... It sounds like you're moving on to your next point. Your next point is the economic effects of advertising according to the listening passage. So at about 15 to 20 seconds of your response, it's a little bit confusing when you're making your transition from discussing the reading and to getting into the lecture. Certain candidates. The speaker in the speaking passage gives another example of a certain brand of toothpaste that people would buy just because... The when you say second, you want to say... The listening passage argues that advertising has economic effects. State what that main point is before you get to your details. So it's on advertising. In conclusion, both the reading and speaking passages focus on the effect of advertising on our life. Yeah, I don't think you really got it. I'm not convinced that you exactly understand what the main point is of the reading passage in the lecture. And that means you're going to lose some points in your topic development. So in topic development, if I look at the rubrics, and I'll, I do have the, the link to the rubrics in the email I just sent you, uh, I'm going to say that your ideas are not well connected in the sense you're not connecting things explicitly to the reading in the sense that it's talking about the political effects the listening is talking about the economic effects. It wasn't quite clear that you understand that. So you had some trouble presenting your information. As I pointed out, you also had some problems with your language use. Pronunciation's not bad. You speak fairly clearly, so I think that's a strong point for you. But on this one, uh, your score, yeah, I don't think you'll get in the three range. I'm going to put you at about... 2.16 out of 4, or 17 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Now, for the purposes of our class, 2.16, 
this is going to put you in our class. You can look in the syllabus on page 9, the one I sent you by email. 75% uh, on this assignment. All right, so what do you do? The next one, you want to be more organized. You want to make sure that you explicitly state the main point of the reading and the main point of the listening. Make it very obvious that you understand what those key points are before you get into your detail information. 